Maytag dishwasher complaint. Standing water inside of dishwasher. Dishwasher will not pump out the water. Probable cause, obstruction in the water line hose. Remove obstruction. Test to see if pump is draining. Verify if pump is good. If not, possibly replace pump. Unit should test good. Remove obstruction. Test to see if pump is draining. Verify if pump is good. If not, possibly replace pump. Unit should test good. service check uh, to verify the water system power to ground uh, at this time performing a service check on the water shutoff system which is the float to see if it's going to rise up off of the switchology the micro switch to turn the water valve off the drain pump has been verified and is working and now the dishwasher is pumping so as a maintenance check, just to verify for no homeowner liability claims for a potential overflow of water, uh, it's good to check to make sure that the dishwasher does shut itself off. And at this time, the float has lift off of the micro switch, should be sending power to the motor, power to ground, and the dishwasher should be engaged in the wash system. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to verify once again the, the float power to ground just to remove the ground off the water valve and I'm also going to verify the operation of the impeller which is the motor uh, seeing if the motor is going to turn and if it does turn then that proves that there is an obstruction that there is an obstruction? Yes, there would have been an obstruction for this device. So free freeing it from any obstruction uh, basically proves that the motor is either bad or good. If the motor is bad, then it's not going to be worth repairing. The motor is good. So it might have been a glass object, something strong enough, durable enough to seize between the impeller and the housing. Something hard enough to prevent that impeller from turning. So now that it's been removed, and we verify that it's turning, the water's been, water's moving around in there, uh, then I'm gonna vacuum that water out to remove any objects that might be free floating just to be safe. And that should take care of that. So the obstruction is in this gray piece? Yes. Hmm. Part of the wash arm. So we have a integrated relay. Let's make sure that it's not intermittent. Okay, there is an integrated relay that could be weak inside this control board. And so that could be an issue also. Not that the motor has to have a start winding and then a centrifugal switch to carry the load. For every design, each design is different. But if I reinstall the wash arm assembly, and it does not go into a wash, 
then we're looking at an integrated relay control this week. And it does not have enough power. Apparently this must have a start winding on the motor, which then once the motor rotates, then it can continue the power to ground through a centrifugal switch. But that's to be proven once I reassemble it. But the pump is no longer an issue and never was. And the problem was that it could not begin the wash because of the motor was obstructed by some object. your impeller no obvious obstruction in the drive impeller Maytag dishwasher complaint water was not draining and also water had overflowed and spilled onto floor. Observation. Touchpad control was good. Power to ground to water valve was good. Float switch re released the ground to the water valve which then turned the water valve off which checks good. The wash action uh, once water was satisfied for the volume and amount checked good also drain test good dishwashers pumping out good pump checks good no obstruction in the drain water line, or rather the drain pump line. Maytag dishwasher, ground control checks good. To motor, to control board, to water valve, and to pressure switch. All components at this time appears to check out good.